Hello, welcome back to my channel. And today, we are talking about the purpose and the methods of changing water for goldfish. Most people who keep goldfish at home have a relatively large number of fish in a limited space. Therefore, even with an efficient filtration system, uh, it is difficult to eliminate the accumulation of goldfish waste and leftover food. The substance ultimately transformed from those residues often contain excessive amounts of nitrate. Although nitrates are relatively low in toxicity, goldfish have a limited tolerance for them. According to data, the nitrate concentration that small size goldfish can tolerance should not exceed 80 to 100 ppm. The safety range rate is below 40 ppm. In contrast, larger goldfish and koi can tolerate higher concentrations up to 120 ppm. However, once these limits are exceed, goldfish may exhibit signs of stress, lethargy, red spots on their fins, or visible blood vessels. Therefore, to ensure the health of goldfish, we usually take the measure of regular water changing to reduce nitrate concentration. Maybe you have heard of some people have had successful experiments without changing the water for a long time. Their common success lies in a low stocking density, combined with the use of green water or green algae, which involve cultivating moles, green algae, or aquatic plants in the tank. These plants can effectively process nitrates and produce oxygen through photosynthesis. However, even in such case, it's difficult to achieve suitable water quality balance over the long term. In addition, changing the water has many benefits for goldfish. New water is like fresh air, it can bring new minerals, and with changes in water quality, it can stimulate the central nervous system and endocrine system of fish, which can enhance appetite, effectively promoting their metabolism and accelerating growth. These are all important reasons why we need to change the water regularly. Therefore, if you see aquatic products online that claim no water changes needed, please be spectacular. When goldfish choose light, thin congestion, slow swimming, or reduced appetite, the first thing to consider should be changing the water rather than immediately concluding that it is due to illness. Just like staying in a relatively enclosed environment for a long time, fresh air and sunlight can improve your condition. The water is overly fertile, if becoming viscous. The bubbles on the surface do not dissipate easily over a long period. Need the water change. Green water suddenly turns clear, which indicates a best death of algae. Need the water change. The water is too green, with very low visibility, requiring a water change. The frequency of changing water is closely related to the stocking density of fish. If the stocking density in the aquarium is high, the water quality is more likely to be polluted and change. Therefore, it is recommended to change the water every 5 or 7 days. On the contrary, if the stocking density is low, the water change cycle can be extended to every 10 or 15 years. By the way, what's the standard density? In China, we believe that 1 liter of water can support 1 centimeter of fish while one gallon can support 1.5 inches of fish. Usually, an adult goldfish is 15 cm long, so it is 15 liters of water per fish or 4 gallons per fish. If it meets this standard, we consider it to be normal density. In addition, the frequency should be adjusted according to the season and the water temperature. It is generally recommended to change the water every 3 or 4 days in summer, 
once a week in spring and autumn, and every two weeks in winter. Combine the above two points, although it is possible to follow a fixed schedule for what changes. Since the goldfish are living creatures, and the water quality changes dynamically, it is also necessary to adjust based on the actual conditions of goldfish and the water. The quality of tap water varies from country to country. For example, tap water in Japan is drinkable, while in China it is not. Therefore, we're using Chinese tap water as a reference. We usually prepare a container, fill it with tap water, and place it in the same environment as the fish tank for two or three days. This allows impurities to settle, chlorine to evaporate, and raise the water temperature to the same level as the tank before it can be used as exchange water for fish. The safest way is small quantities multiple times. Under normal conditions, it is recommended to change one thirty or one fourth of tank water weekly. However, in certain special cases, you may need to change a large amount of water, such as when there is overdose of disinfectant medication, a dead fish in tank, or a viral disease outbreak. Even in these situations, it is important to operate as cautiously as possible to avoid significant difference in water quality and temperature that could have a large impact on the goldfish. For goldfish keepers, the best time to change the water is in the early morning. This is because of a night without light. The oxygen level in the water will drop to its lowest point of the day, combined with the accumulation of goldfish waste overnight. The lightest is in the earlier evening. It's better not to do it at night. The above are some suggestions on water changing. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you in the next video.